welcome back BMATs. I am all amped up today because after today's lecture, you have received everything needed to pass your course test tomorrow. But just like the degenerative feedback you learned about in class today, let's not get too amped up just yet because you still have your work cut out for you. Today you learned about operational amplifiers and their specific uses. So now let's briefly discuss what they are in the first place. The purpose of an operational amplifier, or op amp for short, is to simply amplify AC and DC voltages. There are two inputs, the non-inverting input, indicated by the plus sign, and the inverting input, indicated by the minus sign. However, don't call it what the sign is, call it non-inverting and inverting inputs. Otherwise, we're going to say we don't like the way you're talking to us. There are also two power supply voltages, positive VCC and negative VEE and the output can't exceed these inputs. Lastly, with all op amps that we discussed today, there will be a single output located here. Now, let's talk about the non-inverting op amp. The purpose is to amplify AC signals. The input is on the non-inverting input, and the output is amplified and in phase with the input because it was not inverted. Pro tip, when dealing with these op amps, the job is in the name. Op amps use the principle of degenerative feedback, as shown, to reduce the amount of gain, otherwise the circuit could be damaged. A V, or voltage gain, can be calculated using the formula RF divided by R1 plus 1. Oh, and pro tip, make sure not to forget to add the plus 1, and if you get this mixed up with the next op amp we'll talk about, look at the symbol where the input's at. The non-inverting input is indicated by a plus sign, a subtle reminder to add that plus 1. Now, let's invert everything we just talked about and discuss the inverting op amp. The purpose is the same as before. We're amplifying AC signals, but the difference this time is where the input's at and what the output looks like. This time, the input signal comes in on the inverting input, which tells me that the output is going to be the amplified and inverted or out of phase. As you can see on this op amp, it still uses degenerative feedback to reduce the amount of gain and protect the amplifier. But as you can see, the calculated AV formula differs this time and can be calculated using RF divided by RN. Now, let's go ahead and add another op amp to your list of components, the summing op amp. The purpose of the summing op amp, as the name suggests, is to add all the input voltages. However, do notice that all of the input voltages here are fed into the inverting input. Because of this, the output will be the inverted sum of the inputs. For example, with the inputs on the left coming in, they add up to positive 7 volts. But, that's going into an inverting input. So, what should be felt on the output? If you got negative seven volts, you are correct because it is the inverted version of positive seven volts. Pro tip, when solving these, go ahead and get the sum on the left, then make sure to just flip it and reverse it for the output. Now, since we've been doing a little addition with the summing op amp, let's finish strong with some subtraction on the difference op amp. The purpose of a difference op amp is that it generates an output based off the difference of the inputs. The inputs can either be AC or DC on the inverting and non-inverting inputs. So for this example, the output would be like this. Pro tip, for a foolproof way to solve these, you'll always want to take the non-inverting input, so positive 8 volts, minus, go ahead and add that minus sign in there, the inverting input, so positive 3, which will give you the positive 5 volts on the output. Just make sure to pay attention to the signs, and if you set it up like this every time, you shouldn't get messed up. All right, thank you guys so much for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe for updates on future videos and post questions in the comments if you have them. Lastly, I just want to remind you guys to study for your course test tomorrow and don't forget to review days seven through nine as well. Consider that reminder though, a little bit of degenerative feedback to keep you guys from getting ahead of yourself and messing up on the course test. Remember, you got this tomorrow and as always, keep being awesome. BMAT out. <laughs>